She agreed to help. You know me. I love to play hero. <gasps> Hello, sis. <gasps> Your skin has never looked better. Zelina has as much to lose as we do, and now that we've got her help, we can bring down the protection spell on the cavern, find those shears, they can cut my son from his destiny, prevent him from ever becoming the saviour and from hurting anyone. I hope so, love. Where does that endless optimism come from? Relax, I just wanted to talk to someone for a minute that doesn't live in fantasy land. If we are going to steal from the Dark One again, I need backup this time. You have backup. A one-handed pirate and a chiseled chin with a sword? No, thanks. I'd like to live through this. What did you have in mind? Something with a bit more bite. Snakes? No, black fairy dust. That's what turned her like this. I can smell it. It's still swimming through that icy cold blood of hers. All I have to do is pluck a teensy bit out and then shears or no shears, the Dark One's son won't be a problem. At least not for me. But it's just backup in case we need to break glass, as you say. We're gonna do this, mate. We have to tell Belle. She came to us for help. We can't just go behind her back and kill her son. Oh, we don't have to kill him. Do what you want with the shears once he's squishable. Fairy dust. To make any enemy more manageable. <laughs> when this is over, you and I are going to take a little trip. Hmm? <laughs> My monkeys just love a good snake dinner. <laughs> so, we all ready then? Yeah, I'm ready.